Over the next hundred years, the night sky is going to give us a show like no other. Astronomers already know about some of the biggest events coming our way. And if you love space, photography, or just watching the sky, there will be moments you won't want to miss. In this video, I'll walk you through the most exciting astronomical events of the next century. Later this year, we may get the chance to see a comet that's truly out of this world, literally. It's called 3i Atlas, and it didn't come from our solar system at all. This comet traveled from another star system, making it an interstellar visitor. That's incredibly rare. We've only ever found two others before it. What makes 3i Atlas even more exciting is that we discovered it early enough to prepare for observing it. By late October, it will be closer to the sun, shining brighter, and by November 20th, 2025, during the new moon, it could be visible in binoculars or small telescopes. Imagine pointing your camera or telescope at something that formed around another star far, far away. Just a year later, on August 12th, 2026, we'll have a total solar eclipse. If you've never seen one, it's one of the most breathtaking sights in all of nature. For this one, the path of totality will pass over Spain and Iceland. The eclipse won't last very long, just over two minutes of totality, but trust me, even those two minutes are unforgettable. Then on August 2nd, 2027, things get even better. That year's total solar eclipse will be the longest of the century. In Luxor, Egypt, totality will last six minutes and 23 seconds. That's more than enough time to take in the glowing solar corona, the shimmering atmosphere of the sun that only reveals itself during an eclipse. The path of this eclipse stretches from Spain and North Africa all the way through the Middle East, so millions of people will get a chance to see it. And the eclipses don't stop there. The very next one after 2027 happens on July 22nd. This one will pass right over Australia, including Sydney, which is very rare for a city that size. Totality in Sydney will last almost four minutes, and with Australia's typically clear skies, it could be one of the best eclipse viewing opportunities of the century. Now, on April 13th, 2029, the Earth is going to have a close encounter with something a little more nerve-wracking, a large asteroid called Apophis. Don't worry, it won't hit Earth, but it will pass closer than many of our satellites. That's closer than some TV signals orbit. Scientists say an asteroid this big only comes that close once every 5 to 10,000 years. From the right spot on Earth, you may be able to see Apophis with the naked eye, looking like a bright, slow-moving star. It won't be as dramatic as an eclipse, but knowing you're watching a massive space rock passing right by Earth is pretty humbling. Fast forward to the mid-2030s, and we might witness something spectacular. The Leonid meteor showers could turn into full-on meteor storms. Normally, the Leonids produce about 15 meteors per hour, but in the past, they've surprised the world. In 1833, people in North America reported seeing tens of thousands of meteors every hour, like the sky was raining stars. Predictions say the 2034 and 2035 Leonids might bring big outbursts again. Even if it's only a few hundred meteors per hour, that's way above normal and could make for one of the most unforgettable nights under the stars. Then, in 2061, Halley's Comet returns. This is one of the most famous comets in history, known for its short orbit of about 75 years. The last time it came by in 1986, the viewing conditions weren't great because it was too close to the sun's glare, but in 2061, it will swing by on the same side of the sun as Earth, making it much easier to see. For thousands of years, Halley's Comet has been spotted by different civilizations. If you're alive in 2061, you'll be part of a tradition that stretches back more than 2,000 years. Looking even further, in 2079, there will be a rare event called a planetary occultation. This is when one planet passes directly in front of another, from our point of view. On August 11th of that year, Mercury will actually cover Mars for a couple of minutes. It won't be visible to the naked eye. You'll need a telescope, but the idea of seeing one planet completely block another is pretty mind-blowing. Turkey and the Middle East will be some of the best places to watch this unusual event. Finally, in 2012, we'll get an even more exciting planetary occultation. Venus will cross in front of Jupiter, an event that will last around 15 minutes. If you're lucky enough to still be alive, or if future generations carry on our passion for astronomy, this will be one of the rarest planetary shows of all. It'll be visible across much of the Americas in the morning sky. Even though the sun will be up, it should still be visible with the right equipment. Venus slowly sliding across Jupiter, 
It's the kind of sight that reminds you how vast and dynamic our solar system really is. So the next hundred years of the night sky are packed with comets from other stars, the longest solar eclipse of the century, near misses with giant asteroids, possible meteor storms, famous returning comets, and rare planetary alignments.